Hi guys, Don Rice here. And for those of you who are not following along on rcscalebuilder.com, I thought I'd, I'd show you what uh, I did last night, which was essentially I, I, I covered the entire engine in packing tape and, uh, and I did the same thing on the inside of the cowl here and then um, and then I sprayed Pam cooking oil all over the tape in order to create a um, a release agent and and then I sprayed uh, well I sprayed I sprayed this stuff so this is expanding foam supposed to help seal you know cracks in your house and stuff like that but I sprayed it into this area uh, above the motor. Actually, I guess that's technically below the motor. And I have since, I didn't do this on film because I was afraid it wouldn't actually come off, but by wiggling everything, I was able to get the whole thing to come off. I've removed the tape now um, that was on the engine and the firewall. And what I'm left with now is um, this big foam thing that's in the shape of all the available space inside my cowl so that uh, theoretically um, this could be uh, the size of I don't know the biggest muffler can possible because everything else that goes in the cowl does not go where this foam currently is. So um, I'm still on this uh, quest to create a, uh, a scale exhaust system um, so that the exhaust comes out the, the scale tri-tip pipes on the side of the fuselage. It's turned into a bigger deal than I thought it would. Anyway, I haven't tried removing this from the cowl yet. You can see the remnants of the tape here and here, and it's all over the place. And so, basically, I expect I should just be able to grab it, wiggle it, and hopefully it'll just pop out. <laughs> that is so much easier than I expected. Oh, I have some uncured stuff on the bottom. All right. Okay. Far out. An uncured smiley face. All right. So, the intention now is um, I will now cut off all the little bits of this foam plug that are not going to be my muffler. And in the spirit of the season, this is uh, my turkey carver about to be repurposed. I don't know if it work on this, but we'll find out. Oh yeah, that works just fine. Okay, didn't need that part. And I know I'm gonna, I don't actually want the muffler to sit right on top of the engine. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna take off. Take off a little bit right there. So, okay, so I will smooth out the back end.
Okay. And I'm going to need to let this area dry for another hour or so. Because of the packing tape being right here, it apparently created an airtight seal. So this section didn't really get cured overnight. I'll need to let it sit for a couple hours so that can cure. And then I'll continue carving this down. Uh, ultimately the goal is to get this can to be roughly between one liter and one and a quarter liters in size. Right now the outline of this matches the inside diameter of my cowl. So I'm going to start by chopping off a quarter of an inch of this outer diameter because I don't want my muffler resting on the cowl. Uh, and then I'll just keep carving it down until I have uh, the actual muffler. We'll see how that goes. Later.